Next up, Hop T, Dean Eberhard. Come on up to the stage. <laughs> Dean's coming on. There he goes. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm doing great. Good. How are you Get your mics. Oh, I'm okay. Cool. There's a timer right there. Hey guys. My name is Dean. I'm one of the founders of Hoplark Hop Tea from Boulder, Colorado. So I was at a brewery with my best friend, and he just ordered a double IPA. It looked amazing. No big deal, right? The problem was I had five days left in my first whole 30, and I couldn't give it up. See. I had tried every diet, and this was the only one that worked. I was 50 pounds overweight and desperate for a solution. I could not have that beer, but I grabbed it anyway. Wow, that hoppy aroma. That is the experience that I was longing for. I didn't have a beer that day, but I did have an idea. And that friend, Andrew, is now my co-founder. We created Hop Tea to fill that void. But our customers have been teaching us that hop tea is much more than a beer replacement. It's an experience in its own right. To our, very, to our first customers, hop tea is completely unexpected and then surprisingly familiar with connections to craft beer, tea, and sparkling water. We launched in May, and it's been going great, including a rollout in Whole Foods, where in a little over two months, in just 17 stores, we've moved over 10,000 cans. But the most exciting thing by far is watching our customers be drawn to the product on shelf and seamlessly find a place for hop tea in their lives, replacing sugar and alcohol without even thinking about it. We're here to create an entirely new beverage category and excited for you guys to join along on the ride. Cheers. I see Don. Dean really owned the stage here. He, he walked <laughs> around, he got the handheld going. Um, what do you think of that? What do you think of this pres uh, that presentation? I thought he was just going to leap onto the stage like a deer. <laughs> you know, he just came running up here. Um, I love the presentation. I think he definitely knows his market. Um, the, the hops in this are amazing. Um, and uh, I think it, you, you feel like you're drinking a beer until you get to that sort of you know, tea backbone instead of a malt backbone. So I think hop heads are going to love this. People who prefer malt, you know, or like beer for the malty side aren't, aren't going to like it as much, I guess, because it's super hoppy. But I do like this. I think there's too many backbones for the mainstream. There's a lot of different tea varieties, but, you know, that, that's just my opinion. Yeah. Matt, uh, you know, echoing uh, or following up on Mike's comments, I mean, do you think there's a large opportunity for a hop-infused tea? We'll see. I, I, I hadn't thought about it until I you know, started look, coming to this, sh this show and, and, and tasting back there. Um, it is lightly sparkling, so I, I do like that, I, that, that part of it, uh, a bit of a differentiator for tea, along with the hop, obviously. Uh, interesting flavors, combinations, uh, we'll see. I mean, the, the only thing I don't know is it's obviously uh, ingredient-led, the, the branding, et cetera, and so where's the personality from it? I, I think that's a question that's still open in my mind. Kelly, Dean's story at the beginning about, you know, he only had a few more days on his uh, Whole30 diet. Um, really interesting story. I mean, does it come through? Did, you, did that sort of come through, that storytelling, that brand story on the can and the packaging? I mean, that story doesn't necessarily, but I think, it's, I think it's really nice packaging. I mean, I think it's different from anything else I've seen. I'm a sucker for a matte can. I love matte cans. It's really premium, and I definitely pick it up and look at it, and, man, it was delicious. So. Yeah. Pat, in terms of uh, what Dean was talking about, this could be a replacement for people who are, don't want beer or sugary beverage. How do you see that? How do you see Hop Tea? Yeah, I mean, I think he's right on it. Um, it's one of the things I love about this, this conference is that you get entrepreneurs that come up with ideas that you never even thought of. And uh, I think he did a great job. And, and kind of to the package experts uh, uh, point, I think the packaging is phenomenal. I like it a lot. I think that it differentiates itself on the shelf at minimum, it's going to get the consumer to come over and take a look at it to see what it really is. If you can make sure that the call out on the package is really describing the functional benefit of it and communicating that story that you did in two minutes, I think it'd be great. Do you like the flavor? The flavor is excellent. It was a good right. one. Great. Great feedback.
Thank you.